every one of us and he's gonna we're gonna do a we're gonna declare a move I declare a movement here with these destiny groups uh, as opposed to a program which I know that's not what uh, uh, you just said hey we don't want to do that so Lord let there be a movement in this place that will move each and every one of us and those uh, that aren't even here right now Lord that they're gonna be moved to another place in the spirit realm because of the power because of the love of these destiny groups that we're establishing in this place. And Lord, we just ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I tell you what, I'm, I am so excited. I think this is one of uh, some of the most exciting times here at Skyway where we together, because we're all doing this together. This is not a one-man launch. This is a uh, multiple women, men. <laughs> we're launching this thing that's going to allow us to take family as we know family in this church to a whole another level. So I'm, ex I'm, excited, about, I'm excited about that. So, and you know, I, I just encourage, I was just thinking about this when I was writing this down. I encourage those of you who are watching us online, because sometimes we have, uh, I don't know, 15 to 20 hits on a Wednesday night that are watching online. If you're close enough to get to this place, I want you to come and be a part of the Destiny group instead of watching online. Or you can start a Destiny group in your home while you're online. So give us a call and let us know about that. But be a part of this, okay? Whether it's online or whether you get down to this place. But I... Those watching online, if you can get down here, get down here. Those that want to start a group, all right, we're, we're going to do that with you. So we're in week three, 2017, 2018. And um, what we're doing tonight, just real quick, what we're going to discuss, I'm going to go over the, uh, the vision uh, of uh, the destiny groups, what our value is with these destiny groups. We're going to talk about group table dynamics. I'm just going to go over a couple different things because we've kind of already gone over it. We really kind of know what we're going to do, but I just want to touch these bullets before we actually launch in there. Pastor Greg will be speaking uh, next week. Uh, the following week, we'll be all worshiping the next week. Boom, we're launching. We're going to be right in the middle of um, uh, doing, having all the groups coming in. We'll have a time of question and answers, and then after we do the time of question and answers, we're going to meet all of our facilitator teams. So those of you who are facilitators, co-facilitators, you're going to find out what team you're on, and, and uh, hopefully no one will yell at Pastor Sam for helping put all these things together. So, uh, And then you're also going to find out who the pastor is, because we have pastors that are over these facilitator teams, and you'll be able to find out how many tables we have and that sort of thing. So anyway, we're going to meet our facilitators tonight. Um, I want to read this scripture verse real quick. This should be something that you want to write down. Keep this thing. It's, it's a very, very familiar scripture verse. But what we're doing is we are doing the great and the foremost commandment. Because everything that we're doing, we're doing it because of love. That's why we're doing this. So he said unto them, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and the first, if you look up foremost, the first commandment. And the second is exactly like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself and on these two commandments depend the whole law and the prophets and what we're doing is we're just wanting our tables to be a table of family and a table of love and that's what we're extending that's our greatest gift as facilitators and co-facilitators is that we extend love to those that are going to be around our tables reason for our destiny groups we want to create a small family dynamic uh, through learning together through growing and maturing spiritually together to care for one another, to share with one another, to encourage and stay connected with one another by establishing friendships. That's why all these different weeks that we'll be doing this in a row uh, will be establishing these relationships. We come in on a Sunday, we come in on a Wednesday, we worship, we hear the word. Hi, how you doing? Great. We'll see you later. Okay, catch you next week. And how many of you know it takes years to build a relationship that way? But we're actually going to give time during a church service to actually talk to one another. What about that? Come on. That's, going to, that's, that's just going to be awesome. Our destiny groups uh, will allow people to become more than just a church attendee. Because what it's going to do is we come and we sit and then we go. And hopefully what's going to happen here, not hopefully, what is going to happen here is as we get these teaching, as we understand this together, identity and destiny and our purpose, We'll talk about that around the table. You know, it's one thing when you hear it, you learn a certain amount. When you hear it and see it, it's a certain amount. When you hear it, see it, and write it down, it's a certain amount. But then when you begin to discuss it and actually begin to process it and speak it out loud, it makes the retention even that much higher. And that's the goal uh, that will happen. And it will cause a person who's just maybe coming and sitting in a pew, or, well, we don't have pews, sitting in a chair, um, that they're going to be able to begin to look on the inside 
hey, how, what do I think about that? How do I think about that? And then what we're going to encourage them to do is take that out and share what they've learned with their friends and their neighbors and their families. And that, that is called discipling. And then they begin to share that. Then they start discipling without even knowing they're discipling. That's the end result and the end product of what's going to happen. So each week during the small group discussion time, we'll be able to talk about how we can start applying the scriptural principle. There'll be, you know, we'll do this. You'll have questions uh, to kind of ask around the table. We'll be able to apply those scriptural principles that we just learned into our personal daily life. And this will create a deeper level of discipling. So just a couple group uh, dynamic, table dynamics here. So if someone's missing from the group, uh, we have, we'll have the members of the group contact and reach out to that person during the week. So during the discussion, okay, so let's just talk about that for just a second. So when someone's missing from the group, we'll have the whole table, because you'll have their cell number. You can text them, whatever. Hey, we missed you. Someone will call. So a person that actually misses on a Wednesday night, they're actually going to get two, three, four calls from the table. Someone actually cares about the fact that they weren't there that time. How awesome is that? Now, when you do a big old group like this, it's so hard to know, you know, because that's how people get offended. They get hurt. Well, no one knew. No one called me. No one cared if I come or not. Well, no one knew or very little people knew. And so, you know, we we're apologizing that for that to a blue in the face for the last 30 years. So we've got something that's going to happen now that will cause people to be able to get into a small group where they're known and can be known. And then when they're missing, someone's going to reach out and say, hey, missed you. How are you doing? How can I pray for you? How's your week going? Someone say amen on that. Amen. That's awesome. And then during the discussion time, uh, people are allowed to pass. Okay, so, well, I thought it's a discussion time. They need to talk. Okay, let me share this. I've had about five different individuals approach me and say, I want my spouse to come, or I want this person to come, that person to come. But if they have to talk, they'll never come. They won't come in here if you put them on the spot. So I want us to know out loud is that if a, a person is allowed to pass in that group, let me tell you what will happen, though. As we begin to build relationships as we begin to find out that that's a safe place, as they begin to find out that you truly do like them, you truly do love them, guess what they will do? They want to be known. So they will eventually open up. But it's okay if someone says, pass. Don't freak out as a facilitator. Well, wait a minute. We didn't get everybody to share. It's okay. Their seeds are being planted by what's being taught and what they're hearing around the table. And when they're ready to talk, guess what they will do? They will talk. Then you have a whole other problem. you got to, okay, well, we need to move on to the next person. <laughs> Hey, Pastor Sam. Yes. Remember a guy by the name of Louis Alexander? <laughs> yes, I do. You and I and, and Don and Sherry were in, in some groups like this together, and Louis had a favorite phrase after everybody else spoke and you didn't say anything. Louis would always say, hey, okay, Sam. don't anybody do this. <laughs> Go ahead. Sam, how'd that make you feel? <laughs> So I can't tell you, though, how I actually felt or what I was thinking about the guy, but, but what's happening is the Holy Spirit's moving on people when they're in these tables, just like the Holy Spirit was moving on me. But what was going on there was it was talking about emotions. It was talking about language. It was talking about um, what's going on. I mean, I had two, two language, verbiages. Uh, I'm either happy or I'm sad. But what they were talking about is all the different realms of emotion that a person had. I didn't want to deal with that. I didn't want to talk about that, and let alone did I want to share with Louis Alexander. You know, so I wanted to punch the guy, basically, is what I wanted to do. So, but I'm sure he was trained to say, how do you feel? Number one, to me, that was a pretty weak way to talk to a guy anyway, at that, back at that time. But I understand what he was trying to do. He was trying to, you know, pull out. He was trying to, you know, trying to get me to be able to converse. But you don't know where people have been. We don't know what people have been through. So, and we only had a short period of time, so that's why he was trying to pull out what he was pulling out. But please, don't ask someone, how does that make you feel in the group, all right? So if they want to speak, hey, great. And if they don't, they want to pass. Is that okay if people want to pass? All right, awesome. People want to pass. All right. Listening is the most important aspect of being a leader. Let everyone share. Now, if, you, you know, if we open up, we talked about this before, but if all of a sudden you hear crickets chirping at the table, you as a facilitator can say, well, hey, let me share first. But when you share first, be quick. Be, be very quick about how you're sharing. Be brief. I said quick. Be brief. Because some of us as facilitators, I know some of you guys, you love to talk. But as a facilitator, what we got to do now is we have to understand we're facilitating. It's not for us to be heard. How many say, say that? It's not for me to be heard. 
Okay, so we're facilitating. We want other people to talk so they can be known and so they can be heard. And we want to make sure that that happens. Not that everybody needs to know how I feel because if that's the case, you need to be on the attendee side and not the facilitator side because you need a little bit more time, which is okay. Is everybody okay with that? Yeah. All right, awesome. Listening is the most important thing. Okay, lead facilitator. To, de to debrief with your, so we've got, we're going to have what we call lead facilitator and co-facilitator. Let me say this. Because we have couples and non-couples, what I had to do was, when we were, when we were doing this, not I, but when, what we had to do was, sometimes we might have a, a couple and we might have one co-leader. That co-leader is just as capable of leading a group as what the facilitator is, but if a couple is gone, who's going to lead the group? That co-facilitator will be able to lead the group. So if you have co-facilitator by your main name, that doesn't mean that you're B and not A. Okay, it just means that when in the dynamic of what's going on for all these weeks, we need to have strong leaders. Every single one of you are strong leaders. And so, but you've got to name a leader. You just have to do that. It's just a dynamic of group. So we know who's around the table doing that. But if it's a, if you got co by that, that doesn't mean that you're B. Everybody's A. Okay. Everybody say, I'm an A. I'm an a. Okay. So I just want to make sure everybody knows that. But what, what we do after these groups throughout the week or whatever, whenever you want to do this, you're going to have to figure this out yourself. But you want to talk with a co-facilitator and say, hey, how did this week go? I uh, think we did okay. Uh, uh, and then you want to pray for your group because that's the strongest thing you can do for your table is that you begin to pray for the people that are around your table. Okay? Help everyone at your table feel welcome. I know this, you might say, well, that's just a given. Well, we need to make sure we know what the plumb line is and why we're doing what we're doing. And why we're doing what we're doing is we want everybody to feel welcome, we want them to feel loved, and we want them to feel accepted, okay? Um, you can say, hey, uh, connect, with, uh, c connect with me on Sunday morning. I'll see you Sunday morning. You know, you can do things uh, besides on a Wednesday night where you can connect with them, but get to know them, build relationships with them. So as of tonight, uh, we currently have, Pastor Greg, come on up. I'm going to kind of get into this thing. I'm almost done here because I want to do questions and answers, and then I want to introduce who our uh, leaders are going to be. But as of tonight, we have 28 tables. Everybody say, praise God. Praise God. So we have enough facilitators to do 28 tables here uh, in the sanctuary, which is awesome. So we've got 79 facilitators and co-facilitators. So the total number of people that are facilitating and co-facilitating is 79, which I think is awesome also. Some of the tables you'll see will have four facilitators. Some of them will have three. Some of them will have two. And that, it's kind of the dynamic that I talked about. Uh, there were a couple that uh, said, hey, we have another couple that wants to be assistants with us. So how many does that make? That's four. That's why some have four. Amen. So we have a couple, and then maybe we have an assistant. So if the couple's not there, that other co-leader would be able to lead the table. And then there's other ones where we have a leader and a, and a co-leader, co-facilitator. And if one of those miss, because it's not a couple, but uh, if one of those miss, then we have that leader. So that's why you see, well, why do we have four, three, and two? It's just the way it worked out so that no one will end up being short, okay? Amen. So each table has a uh, Skyway staff leader assigned to it. So you're at a table, you're a facilitator facilitator, co-facilitator, you will have a Skyway staff leader. If you run into a problem, you have a question, hey, uh, this happened, this happened, you have a leader that will be over your table, and you'll know who that is tonight also. So this Sunday morning, Pastor Greg is going to cast some vision for the Destiny groups. Absolutely. Want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah. All right. Amen. Well, let's thank the Lord for Pastor Sam, and he's been working very hard on this. Thank you so much. And, and really, it's, it's fun what, how this is being built. Um, as we've been working on, on this in, in length since May. The first time I cast the vision to the staff was May. But you guys have been watching a staff joining together to present this vision and to walk this thing out. And really, the nuts and bolts really got put together when I took off to Korea and Russia. Yeah. We had a whole, and, whole team, all the staff was yeah. doing this thing hard. And so, uh, <laughs> Pastor Lorraine, you and Pastor Sherry, Pastor Marie, Pastor mm -hmm. Lorraine is working really hard on the yeah. book right now. Yeah. It's, uh, and, you know, and even when I came back from Korea, they're like, she's like, yeah, and you know, there won't be any cost. I'm like, oh, no, we're going to have a perfect bound book. And she goes, a perfect bound book? And I go, oh, of course. You know, and, <laughs> you know, these are the things that I think is really going to just take stuff to another level. So the, the facilitators, what, what, what I'm envisioning is, 
it's this whole dynamic of, of community and connection, but it's actually going to go to another level. You know, as much as we need community and connection, we also need to grow. How many of you want to grow? Amen. See, I really want to grow. Because if we, if we don't, you know, if the whole purpose of, of Destiny Groups is just community, I think we're going to miss something. But I think if in community we're actually growing in, into the image of Christ, and that's, that's what's going to happen. Because as, as we have friends and stuff, we're going to open up and talk a little bit more. Yep. And so... Part as long of as this. Alexander's not there. Yeah, I, I, I'm bringing him in as a special guest this I'm Sunday. I'm sure you are. <laughs> All right, moving right along. So, I'll be out on the swing set. <laughs> That's a whole other story. Anyway, keep going. We're running out of time. All right, okay, all right. No, we got lots of time. Right. Anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're at the last meeting. I got to tell the story now. I'm having way too much fun. We're at the last meeting, and Lewis is like. Where's Sam? <laughs> Sam is toast. <laughs> I mean, we were dealing with some stuff. I mean, these destiny groups, this is like just getting in the kiddie pool, all right? We, we were off to Texas to deal with stuff. And, and Lewis like, where's Sam? Greg, go get Sam. <laughs> I go outside, Sam, Lewis is looking for you. Sam like, I am not going back in that room. <laughs> <laughs> but we have seen God do some good things, huh, brother? So, so really, this is, this is getting us as a community. You think, how, how's Greg and Don and Sam Sherry, how, how do we just work so well together? Because we, we've gone through stuff to help us know each other. And so what I'm asking all you guys as facilitators is that when you get your clipboard, no, it's not competition because, you know, we're all Christians. <laughs> right? It's not about my group got filled before your group, because that's just ungodly, okay? But I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just telling you what it's not. But what it is, I would encourage you to find people to join you at your table. Hello, hello. Creaky, creaky, creaky. All right. And not only would I encourage you to find people to join you at your table, but now on Sunday... Remember, there's a lot of people in our church that have never, eat, they just know something's about to happen. You guys have been on this from, you know, for the last four or five, six weeks. And they're going to go, they're going to go through those doors and they're going to be looking for you. And I want you guys to be there with your clipboards. Now, don't be doing this. You'd be going like, pick me, pick me, come over here. Come on over here. Because there's going to be, the, I just think there's going to be the, this mutual synergy that's going to happen. They're looking for you, and you're looking for them. And, and your eyes meet, and you feel like it's Holy Ghost. And you're like, hey, get in my group. And, and so, really, this will be like our first sense of, of a point of connection. And, and probably what, what I felt like was the worst way to administrate this would be have a bunch of tables out there that people are just randomly signing their name, and then we put a bunch of information in the computer, and out it comes, and we wander in here on opening night wondering who's at my table and stuff like that. Let's make it fun. How many of you guys want to just make it fun? You know what I mean? And... And look around, you know, the other thing I'd say, look around and you, you see people at church that, that don't look like they have any connections there on Sunday, go get them to your table. Amen. You know, be proactive and say, hey, there's going to be a sign up afterwards. Sign up right now. And, and just, just really, let's make it fun. Let's, let's make it a, a real sense of when we come in here on the 17th, is it 17th, Pastor? 18th. 18th. Yeah, I'm terrible with dates. All right, and when we come in here on the 18th, that, you know, people are going to know who's at the table together. There's that sense that we're already rolling somewhere together. And, and that's, what, that's what I'm envisioning, that it's, it's a lot of fun. Even this process of, of getting names and getting people connected and committed, that let's just make this so much fun that people can't wait to get here on the 18th. Amen. Amen. Sound good? Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about this. So you'll have a clipboard. You'll be getting that tonight, and uh, we'll, we'll call up the groups. We're going to do that here in just two seconds here. But once, you know, it'll, it'll have, like, this group right here, for instance, this is Tom, Kitty Hunter, and Sue Lamarill. You guys are going to be, you guys will be a group. So there's three names on here, and then you go all the way down to the eighth name because that's how many people you get on the table. Once you've done that, your table is full, filled. But if other people still are coming up saying, hey, I need to connect, I want to connect, we have sheets on the other side where we can actually have them. 
sign up and Ooh. you say, hey, we're going to get you into a group. The back so we have sheet. the back sheet. The back so sheet. we have we have those sheets so that once you fill your table, it's not like, well, I'm done. Well, there might still be people who say, hey, I want to be a part. I want to be a part. I want to get in. And so what we do is we help them get in by we say, hey, we're going to contact you. We're going to put you on this list and we'll be getting back with you. We'll tell you what group that you're in. And so that way we're kind of doing, you know, both two things, both and. So that's what will happen on, on Sunday. So what I want to do right now, uh, I'm going to ask, um, oh, let's see. Uh, Carl, if you wouldn't mind, just stand, come up here and grab this box for me, please. And Pastor Lorraine, come on over here. And uh, Steve Williams, Steve Williams, come on up here, grab this box for me, if you would. And then Jeannie, why don't you stand by Steve Williams. Now, both of these guys are uh, leaders and they're in, a, they're in a group, but we'll call their name up. But I want them to be my box holder here. So what I want us to do is I'm going to uh, uh, call up these names, and I want you guys to come up, and I want you to just line up over here. We're going to go all the way across because we got 28 tables that we're going to talk about here. And each table in, the, in uh, here will all be numbered. You'll have, it'll show a table number. It'll have the names on there. So when people come in the back, they know where they're going. Uh, it'll be kind of like uh, when you go to a wedding reception, you know how they have the, the names, and they've got it all broken down and stuff. Well, we've found that same little do-it-yourself table program, so <laughs> we'll be doing that also. But uh, Evangelist Kim has got five tables. We just have five tables because she's got all these facilitators. And believe it or not, almost, a matter of fact, one of your tables is over. But that's okay. But that's all right. So, but anyway, she's got five different tables. But let's, let's welcome up these facilitators. So table one, okay, this is going to be your table, is uh, Doug Johnson and Rosie Hodge. Chaplain Rosie, come on up. You guys come, come on, up. Come on, big word. Like the price is right, come running down. And... All right, all the way over there, Doug. Okay, the Woo! next table, table two. You're going to be table two, Vince and Carol Price, and then Tongadim and Felicity. Where's, I know I saw Tongadim Tonga Felicity. and Felicity. Come on up. Come on down. All right. Table three, Charles and Julie Goodley, and then co-facilitators Alice Woody and Audrey Wright. Alice Woody, Audrey Wright. Okay, Audrey, number four, Audrey. Deb Schrader. I don't know if I saw Deb or not. Is Deb here? There's Deb. Deb, come, come on, on over. Deb, Deb and Janelle, right and then Pam, Pam Hinckley and Jacqueline. Jacqueline Crossman, are you here? Jacqueline. Jack, come on over, Jacqueline. Come on, so you're going to be table four. So he's got four tables going here. Okay, number table number five is going to be Art. Williams, Arthur Williams, King Arthur, Where's and Plachette, and Pam Galloway. Is Arthur here? I don't see Arthur. Okay, How about Pam Galloway? Me. Is Pam Galloway here? I don't see Pam Galloway. Okay, right. table five. See, that's why you need four facilitators. Plachette, yeah, that's table go. five. So, all right. If somebody's playing my music already. All right. Okay, there we go. Okay, now Pastor Danny's over these next two tables. Steve Williams, which is holding the box. Stay right there, Steve. Where's Steve Karen? Williams. Karen, come on over. And Bonnie Piles. Where's Bonnie? Bonnie, come on over oh, here with Karen. Oh, no. So you guys are table number six, okay? Table number seven is Margie. I don't know if I saw Margie Romero. Margie Romero. Margie Romero. Margie. Nope. And oh, how about down. Lisa and Jeff Eddings? Lisa. Lisa there's Jeff. Jeff. There's Jeff, come on over. Come on in, Jeff. Okay, you guys are table number seven. Go ahead and take that right there, table number seven. All right. All right. Who is? Lisa's online. Hi, Lisa. Hello. You are, Lisa, you're table number seven. All right. Pastor Sherry's over these uh, next three tables here. Terry and Tanya Thompson come is table number down. eight, and Nancy Smith. Nancy, come on up with them. All right. And then table number nine, Carl, which is holding a box. But where's Carrie? Carrie, Ms. come on Carrie, over. Come on. And now. then Alicia. Where's Alicia? Alicia, Eskin, you're with uh, Carrie and Carl. And so you are table number nine. OK. Amen. Table number 10. I don't see John, but I see Lois. So Lois, Lois. get your clipboard. Come Lois Camuta. And is Shirley Wyckoff. I don't see Shirley. OK. Shirley might be watching online. Hi, Shirley. You're with John and Lois. <laughs> Okay, uh, so Pastor Sherry is over those tables. Pastor Sam is over these two tables. Uh, Walt and Barbara Cooley and uh, Vicki Worthy. You guys are table number 11, all right? 11. Okay, Gary and Ruth Jane. I know I saw, yep, Gary and Ruth Jane Willow. Come on down, big And then for. Chuck. Yeah, now Chuck Selva. Chuck, you're up you here. spin the big wheel. All right. Chuck, you are with Gary and Ruth Jane. Okay. Woo! All right. So table 13. Boom. That's going to be Bob McGovern and Rivka. Bob, I saw Bob. Yeah, Bob and Rivka. And, and then is Israel here? Yeah! Israel Resendez. No, Israel's not. Is he? 
Bob, you get the lucky number. You guys are table 13, brother. 13. Hall That's because he runs half marathons and he goes 13.1. So we're going to call your table 13.1. <laughs> All right. Table 14, uh, Bob and Pat Obenauer, which I don't see them. But oh, how about Kathy Robinson? I know I saw Kathy. Thank you for being here, Kathy. Come Kathy's co-facilitator there. Number 15, Tom and Carol Johnson. I see Carol. Carol, come, come on, on over. down, Miss Carol. Carol, your table 15. Sydney James. Sydney, are you here? There's Sydney. All Sydney right, James, awesome. Come on down. <laughs> so Sydney, you're there with Carol and Tom. Table number 16 is Asia. I know I saw Asia. So Asia, come you are down, table 16. And with Asia is uh, Daniel Schur. So Daniel's going to be the facilitator with Asia. They're going to fill that table and plus with young kids, all right? Yes. Or young adults, sorry. All right, table number 17, Katrina Johnson. Did I see Katrina? Katrina. I didn't see. How about Michelle Hall? I know I saw Michelle. There's Michelle. Michelle. Let's give Michelle a hand. Woo! Okay, Michelle, you and Katrina are table 17, okay? Table 17. Okay, table 18, Laura Wick. I know I saw Laura and Come Suzanne Ratliff. There you are. Table number 18, just keep going around. Here's what we're going to do. Just go right along here, and then we're going to go down the wall, okay? Down the wall. So table 18. Table number 19, Nancy Allen. Did I see Nancy? Nancy. Oh, okay, didn't see Nancy Allen. Here. How about Tiffany Rios? Rios. I'm sorry, Tiffany Rios. Okay, Tiffany. see, and that's why you need four guys. Okay, here we go. So table number 20. I saw Angie. Angie Gonzalez, Ray! you're number 20. And Angie, with you, Angie, is Clarissa Rios. And what they're going to do is, this is a Spanish-speaking table, and they're going to try to recruit yeah. Espanol and build that up. All so right. that's awesome. Our translators going Table uh, number 21, awesome? Dawn and Marge. Thing. I know I saw Marge doing the flags. There's Marge. Okay. Marge, Marge start right there down, on the wall there, Marge. Down. Come on down. So Dawn and Marge will be on that table. And Cindy Lewis. Is Cindy Lewis here? Cindy Lewis, Cindy Lewis, Cindy Lewis, Cindy Lewis. Yeah, awesome. All right, Cindy. So you're with Don and Marge. That's table 21. Table 22, uh, Claudia Woo! Parrott. Did I see Claudia? Claudia Parrott, Claudia Parrott. Going once, good. she's not here. Oh, she did. Lord Jesus, touch Claudia in the name of Jesus and make her insurance pay for everything in Jesus' name. Okay, how about Sherry Powell? Did I see Sherry Powell? Sherry, you're with Claudia, on, Sherry. Man. So Sherry, you are table 22, table 23. Uh, Rosalind Robinson, are you here? Rosalind Robinson, Rosalind. and you know what? I got Cindy James in two different tables, and we'll work that out on Monday. So Come you on, just, Cindy. you know what? You just need to be everywhere at all times. Okay, you have, you have to run it's just the anointing forward. that's on you, girl. All right, that's okay. Here we go. Um, all right, where am I at here? And Kim, where's Kim? Is Kim here? Kim, come on up, Kim. You are uh, with Rosalind, and I don't know if it's Cindy James or not, but we'll figure it out. But your table 23. Okay, table 24. Is Toby here? Did I see Toby? I didn't know Toby. if I saw Toby. Uh, Toby's moving. Oh, she. Gave, okay, never mind. Okay, uh, Tracy McDowell. Did I see Tracy? Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. Okay, so Toby and Tracy are not here. They're number 24. And Pastor Kelly's over that table. And Pastor Walter's over these next two tables. Uh, Jewel, where's Jewel? I know I saw Jewel. She's playing a the guitar. There There's Jewel. Jewel, you're at uh, table 25. And Emma, is Emma here? Emma Carstens. Emma Carstens. I don't see Emma. She will be. She's great, great, great lady. Okay, that's table 25. And then Dawn and Linda Sass, come on over. You guys are 26. And James, um, James and Jones and Sonja. I know Sanjay. I saw, there they are, Sanjay. All right. Come on down. Come on over, give him a hand. All right. That's a powerful table that's going to split multiple times. I can just tell you that right now. Okay, uh, Pastor Philip. Pastor Philip, don't even know this. Pastor Philip, you're over a couple tables, brother. All right. Fred Payne, Fred and Valerie Payne and Sylvia Mortensen. That is table number 27. Table number 27, and then table number 28, and the last shall be first. Tom Hunter and Kitty Hunter and Sue Lamoureux. Tom and Kitty! Our table Sue number 28. Woo. Look at this awesome, awesome Let's group. Let's say thank you, Jesus, for all of our facilitators. Amen. All right, we're going to go one little step further. We're going to close. You want to Excuse me? Yeah, let me just, okay, let me share. I'll come over here where y'all see me or y'all turn around, whatever you want to do. Now, how many think you're thinking, this is great, but we fill up our tables. What about people that are coming in as the year's going on? 
So we need to be thinking about adding a few more tables. We max out, what's our max number of tables we can run in here, brother? Well, actually, when I was putting this thing together, we only have 40 tables, but we can get more than 40 tables okay. in here. Okay, we can go up to 40. Yeah. So for those of you that are thinking like me, that we're, this is an amazing start. That's why when I heard this number, I'm like, this is great. But I do know that we need to be thinking about new people coming in as the year is going on. And so some of you that would say, hey, I'm in the flow. I'm ready to go. I am the master of flow with it. Okay? My staff loves this about me. They, they just think it's so amazing because I'm always coming up with new ideas on the fly. But it's just, I heard that. Uh, <laughs> But, but for those of you that are out there thinking, you know, man, it's great we're going to fill up all these tables, but then what about people who want to come? So we will be looking for people that are candidates to say, hey, uh, maybe, you know, maybe we'll move some people to another table to get something going. But we are thinking in that light. And if that's in your heart and you're like the flow with it, guys, that say, hey, we don't, we don't want anybody to walk in and say there's no room for me. That's, that would be, you know, a, a negative experience. So we will be always, you know, if we start with 28 tables, we'll set up like 30, and then we fill those up, we'll, we'll add a couple more, and we'll just keep looking for candidates that can flow with it and say, hey, there's some new people coming in, our tables are too full, and, and we can move things around to just keep continually growing as this thing takes off. But for me personally, this is a home run to see all of you here tonight. Amen. Thank you. You know what I, what I really think is going to happen? This is what we have written down now in, in the computer. But, you know, after Sunday, it's gonna, that, that's why I got your name in a couple different places. Yeah. It, it's gonna, it, it will change because I really believe the people that want to get connected, uh, it's going to go over what we got, Pastor Greg, and then we'll just have to look at it. But we'll know after Sunday better what it looks like. But, again, as Pastor Greg said, this is just an awesome, awesome beginning of where we're going to uh, uh, take the teams and stuff and take our destiny groups. And, you know, those of you that are sitting out here right now and maybe say, well, hey, I want to be a part of that destiny group. Uh, I'm going to close this in prayer. But if you want to sign up tonight and sign be a part of tonight. a group, you're looking at 28 tables right here. Uh, you can sign up and begin to get part it's, of You're okay, hold first on. in line we still in the be, ticket We still got to be spiritual here. I got to pray first, okay? Then, then we can just do there all this go. stuff. See, that's what I love, Gary. All right, that's Come what's going to happen. Let me just pray real quick. You've Lord, we them. just bless you tonight. God, we thank you for all these facilitators. I thank you, Lord, for people's lives that are going to be changed and impacted and empowered by the power of the blood of Jesus. Lord, we just love you tonight. I pray peace over everybody. Lord, watch over them as they go home tonight. I pray that their homes will be a haven of rest. I break the power of any night terrors in Jesus' name, and I pray that people will sleep peacefully and soundly. Wake up refreshed in the morning, God. We love you, and we say, Abba, Father, we belong to you. Pray all these things in Jesus' name. Everybody said? Amen. 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 Those of you who want all to right. sign up, get see a facilitator and get on a table. Love you guys. You guys. Have a you great rest of the week. You guys are first in line at the ticket window. Good job, Sam. Thank you.